Hey you guys, it has been a while since I have filmed an empties video, which is one of my favorite videos to film for you guys. And this box is a little bit heavy. Don't worry, there is makeup in there. I promise it's just all down near the bottom. It is officially May 1st as I am filming this. I am super excited because one, tonight is the BBMA's performance of BTS with Halsey and I'm super excited to see it. And two, it is just the beginning of May, which tends to be the spring month in Ohio, where things tend to finally start to really warm up. So I'm happy and wearing my tank tops again, which I absolutely love, and my hair is up because it is nice and warm out. I think our high today is like 80 degrees, which is kind of a little bit of a lie, because it's going to get down into like the 60s again in a couple days and be all rainy and gross, but I am enjoying the gorgeous weather while I have it. And I have been cleaning out a lot of things in my house lately. I've been trying to pare down again. I try and do that every three to four months now. I will never be like a full on minimalist. I wish I could be. I'm just interested in and do so many things that require stuff like makeup is a lot of stuff that um, I don't think it would ever quite be in the cards for me, but I do like to keep things fairly pared down and simple in my house just because I feel calmer and everything just runs a little bit better. So I was just looking through some stuff in my closet today and I looked at my bin and I was like, wow, that's getting full. We better go ahead and do an empties before it turns into like needing a second bin because we're getting to that point. So I'm just kind of going to go through the things that I typically use really, really fast. And then also down once we get into some of the makeup and things that I don't go through quite as frequently. So first up, supplements. I do take quite a few supplements, mostly just like daily vitamins and stuff like that. But me and my husband have been using these lately. These are the Ollie Laser Focus Vitamins. I am kind of obsessed with the Ollie products at Target. Um, not sponsored, obviously. I wish because they're kind of expensive. But um, I like that I can take their any of their supplements and their vitamins on an empty stomach and I don't get sick, which is amazing. So the Laser Focus has um, ginseng, alpha, GPC, glycerol, phosphate, Coral choline, I believe is how that's pronounced, and um, a bunch of B vitamins. So this primarily, I occasionally take this if I'm having a day, but my husband is kind of like a squirrel 24-7. He's like all over the place. So this actually really helps him a good bit. This plus coffee helps him focus. And I take these on days where I'm like, I... I can't focus on anything and my brain's all over the place and then I take these and they help a little bit. Ginseng especially, the ginseng and B12 I know help me just focus and give me extra energy because especially if I'm tired and just like Ugh, my brain is ping 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 but my motivation is like swap. So I find these very helpful and then um, I don't tend to get a lot of sun. One, because my job is primarily indoors. And on top of that, in Ohio, we only really get a lot of sun, like three to four months out of the year. So I take vitamin D supplements because I find that these help with my mood a ton. These help so, so much. And um, a lot of other vitamins and minerals and bodily functions just require vitamin D to work well. So I take a vitamin D supplement every single day. And then I also went through a giant thing of their women's multivitamin. I love these so, so much. They're fantastic. They're so easy to take. And um, my husband even takes these too. Honestly, the only thing that makes these technically like women's I'm guessing is the fact that they have extra folic acid in them and like that's it oh and they have biotin in them as well now the biotin in this does not cause cystic acne for me if I take a separate biotin supplement that has like a ton of biotin in it I will break out in cystic acne this though has I think 125 percent 
of your daily value of biotin and that's fine that doesn't cause me to break out at all so these are awesome next up we have the harry's body wash um i don't use this but again i do include my husband's empties in these videos just in case you're looking for something for like your boyfriend your husband etc so you know what my husband likes he really likes this this is a stone scent it's citrusy and it says minerals but it it kind of smells like citrus plus expensive man so that's why i like this i'm very sensitive to smells so he always runs like body washes and things like that by me first before i get some to make sure i'm not like Bleh, because like 90 percent of the men's scents out there really stink this smells good though i like this one and then um, he also went through another of the Harry Shave Gel. He likes his shave gel. I like it too. I borrow it occasionally. The only thing I do have to say is I have noticed that the Harry's razor blades, I don't know if they changed at manufacturers or what they did, but their razor blades aren't as good as they used to be. I can't get a close shave with them. So I am looking to switch and finding a different company for my razor blades. So if anyone has any suggestions of razors you love, please let me know because like I'm getting insanely frustrated with that. Yeah, I went through this. This is the Act Anti-Cavity um, Zero Alcohol like High Fluoride Mouthwash. This is okay. Um, I don't think it's like super, super magical, but I'd probably purchase it again. It's not terrible. I just wish I could find a mouthwash that doesn't taste like this has sodium saccharin in it. It's got like this tastes like fake sugar to me. It tastes gross. I wish I could find a mouthwash that doesn't taste like alcohol or fake sugar. So again, any suggestions, anyone, please? Uh, next up is a candle. This is the Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint Candle. I always burn this around January, February timeframe because it smells amazing. Peppermint is one of my very favorite scents ever. I just love the way this smells so, so much. It smells like just straight pure peppermint and it makes everything smell just bright and refreshing and I love it. And then I think I have one more candle. Yes, this is the Mary Mistletoe one. And this one smells so good. This is definitely very, very Christmassy. This is what I burned towards the end of December. And I finished it up, I think, in early January, February. I don't like to um, kind of burn candles like most of the way down and then not finish them. I have a couple that I've done out with, like my Campfire Donut one. I have my stack of candles right there, so I was looking. I really like this one. I definitely would repurchase it because it smells yummy. All right, let's see. Ooh, dry shampoo. Who I went through the Batiste Strength and Shine. Again, one of my favorites. Batiste is awesome for dry shampoo. And, oh, I went through a whole thing of contact lenses. Um, I want to show you guys my contact lenses. Usually I throw these straight out, but I figured you guys know I have super sensitive, super allergy prone eyes. So I want to show you guys what I use. Now these are expensive. These are the Bosch & Lawn Bio True One Day Lenses. These are hydrophilic lenses, I believe they're called. I could be totally screwing that up, but these have a very, very, very high water content, so they're excellent. If you have super, super dry, irritated, like allergy eyes, these are the only lenses I've tried that I can wear for more than like three or four hours during allergy season. I can usually wear these up to 10 hours like every other day during allergy season like during the worst of it but during the winter i was able to wear these every single day no problem so big big fan of these lenses just if you're like me and you've had so much trouble with lenses and you're looking for something new to try i figured i'd share uh let's see oh i went through a whole thing of the peach slices acne spot dots i know i just told these but i went through these really quick because um i had a big couple spots on my cheeks that were healing up they're almost completely gone now yay 
but I use these and they are very, very helpful. Uh, ooh, this, okay, this is technically not out. I have like one or two more uses of this and then I will have to let it go. This is my very favorite cleansing oil. This is the Softy Mo Speedy Cleansing Oil. This is a Japanese cleansing oil and I actually buy this on Amazon. It's amazing, it's super thin, super light, takes off all my makeup, even like the strongest waterproof stuff. This is what I go in with and it is so, so good. Like, this would take off this whole face of makeup and believe me I have a lot of makeup on right now in like two seconds it's so so good so I would highly highly recommend this hey we're getting down lower into the box already I'm proud of me yay the Shiseido facial cotton this stuff is like my baby of choice when it comes to facial cotton I was actually um checking out at Ulta when I bought my new one because yes I did repurchase it and the girl was like I never see anyone buy this like ever, you're the first person I've ever seen buy this here. And I'm like, I don't know why, because it's so good. And I was like, you definitely need to try it because this stuff is so, so good. Anyway, um, I love getting into conversations with people about makeup and products and stuff when I'm out. Like it makes me so happy. I'm like, yay, somebody else to talk to. Uh, ooh, Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. I love Epsom Salts. These are fantastic. Um, if you are prone to muscle cramps or muscle soreness, these are great. If you are prone to stress and anxiety cramps because stress and anxiety can actually cause muscle cramping, magnesium helps a lot with this. That's what Epsom salts are, they're magnesium sulfate. These help so, so much with this. I've also heard really good things about um, magnesium sprays which I won't mind trying. I'm just not sure where to get those. I might have to check it like Earth Fair or something next time I'm there, but I really, really like this. But anyway, I pretty much like any kind of Epsom salts. Uh, let's see, ooh, I threw a soap in there. I go through a ton of the Bath & Body Works hand soaps. They're my favorites. This one was afternoon apple picking. It smells really bright and fresh, and I think I got it on like, one of their big 75% off type sales. Anyway, I got this really cheap at Bath & Bite Works. I really liked it. Hey, look, we're done to the makeup. Awesome. All right, I actually, correction, we're down to toothpaste. I went through a bunch of the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Strong and Brights. These are my toothpaste of choice because they do have very, very sensitive teeth. What's funny is this one, look, it was actually a misprint. Like it was printed right, but then the crimper machine crimped it weird. I mean, the toothpaste was fine. I just thought it was really odd, but this is what it normally looks like. So yeah. Ooh, I went through a whole thing of the Pixie Glow Tonic. This is a glycolic acid toner. This is my very favorite toner. This stuff is amazing. I have a couple products in my sample drawer that I want to try, and then I will most likely definitely be repurchasing this. I've probably gone through like five or six of these. It is absolutely fantastic and amazing for just helping keep your skin clear. I love this stuff so, so much. When I'm using this, I only have to exfoliate every week to every like 10 days. When I'm not using this, I have to up that to twice a week because my skin definitely gets way more clogged when I'm not using this. Okay, this is the Red King Clean Maniac Micellar Shampoo. I actually really like this. I got this on recommendation from one of the hairstylists at Ulta. She was really helpful because I was asking for recommendations for my very oily hair, which by the way, it's 80 degrees out, so my hair is just a straight oil slick, so that's why the bun today. But um, I really, really like this one. I'm actually trying a slightly less expensive micellar, eh, micellar? <laughs> I'm actually in the process of trying a slightly less expensive micellar shampoo right now that I'm really kind of liking so far. So um, we'll see if I repurchase this or not. If the less expensive one turns out to be just as good, I will probably go with that. But this one did work really well in my hair. So I like that a lot. It's very cleansing. This is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I got this in a Sephora Playbox. 
pretty much if you see like any little samples like these, I typically got them in a Sephora play box. I love this mask. I think it is excellent. It's really, really good. It's very exfoliating. It tends to clean out your pores. I'm a big fan of this. I love the smell and I actually really would repurchase this because it's, it's really, really nice. I like that it's a clay mask, but it's not overly drying. Ooh, mascara. Um, as you can see, I put the date on this. I bought this on August 20th of last year. Um, I stretched this past the three months by about a month. So I used this for about four months and then it just started drying out. So I went ahead and just threw it in the bin. This is my Benefit Roller Lash. This is probably my favorite mascara of like all time still this is like my number one baby i love this mascara so so much it's so good i will definitely repurchase this i'm in the midst of trying a few different ma mascara samples and getting those used up because i get mascara samples all the time so i like to every time i finish a full size mascara i like to use up the samples i've got or the new ones that i've bought and then typically unless there's anything new out that i haven't tried yet i usually go back to roller lash if you guys watched my favorites video you saw that i mentioned these little eyebrow razors that i use i I've thrown out like a ton of these, but I just want to show you that one of these usually lasts about a month, sometimes longer depending on how often I use it, but I just wanted to show you that I went through one of these. Here is another mascara. This is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Waterproof. Uh, this mascara is really, really old. I probably had this one easily for over a year, but I only used it very occasionally. This is the waterproof mascara of choice. It's my favorite for using when I layer mascaras, when I wear a waterproof and then a non-waterproof. I usually only do that when I don't want to wear false lashes. Like I'm wearing false lashes today and I have to admit, I always feel really freaking fantastic when I put on false lashes. But on the days I don't want to wear false lashes, but I want something more of a glam look. I don't want to look so natural because my lashes, even though they're long, are very light and they tend to go straight out. Um, they don't like to hold a curl. Then I will use this mascara, this waterproof to hold the curl. And then I will top it with another mascara like the roller lash or, um, pretty much any other mascara and my eyelashes will look fake if I pair those two together. So I do need to pick up another one of these to have on hand for those days. I only have a few more products left and I'm going to go through them pretty quick. This is the O'Keeffe's Skin Repair Body Lotion. Um, my husband got this in a sample with his hand cream, so I just decided to try it. I didn't use that on my body. I actually used this on my hands when I was having some eczema this winter and it did help clear it up and it's pretty good moisturizer actually. So if you're looking for a um, a hand or body moisturizer that isn't like overly scented, super girly, etc. This is a good one. Then I also went through this, which is definitely my hand cream of choice. This is the L'Occitane. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I love that I took like five years of French and I still screw up French pronunciation. But basically, it's an almond milk hand cream and I love this. This smells really, really good. It's very, very moisturizing. I would definitely buy this again. I actually know there's a L'Occitane in Columbus, in one of the malls in Columbus. Uh, Polaris, I believe, has one. So I need to go ahead next time I'm down there and grab some more hand creams from them because it they're definitely my favorite as far as hand creams go. The next thing I went through is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. Okay, this does not foam up. It does not foam up like hardly at all, no matter how much water you use. It smells kind of like minty dirt, and it's dark gray but it's really good, and it cleans my skin really well, and I don't know how it does it, but I really, really like this. I hate to say it, like, I don't think there's been, okay, there's been like one Glam Glow product, I think, ever that I didn't like, and I think that was like a primer, 
But like every other Glam Glow product I've tried, I've really, really liked, and this is no exception. It cleans my skin really well. It doesn't over dry my skin. So a big fan of this. I typically don't go for like cream to foam type cleansers a whole lot, but I definitely would repurchase this. I mean, it's a good cleanser. I like it. So technically, this next thing is not an empty, but it's definitely reached its lifespan. This is a Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker. Yes, you can still buy these, and yes, they are still amazing. I love these so, so much. However, I typically have so many lip balm products at one time that I tend to not finish them before they've reached the end of their lifespan, and this one was just kind of like breaking up into chunks when I try to use it. So I think it's time that it be retired. Another product that is being retired due to old age is the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This has gone chunky. Now this is really, really, really old. I actually got this either in like a big sample box or I got this, I think I got this with an eyeshadow palette, so it's pretty old. It has the old um, squeeze tube packaging, so you know it's old. So I'm letting this go. I wasn't even using it anymore. It was just like in one of my makeup drawers and I found it and I was like, huh, let's see, is this still good? Nope. So this is going bye-bye. Another product I'm absolutely obsessed with, this is the Tiger Balm Ultra Strength. This is amazing for sore muscles. This is amazing if you get bruises, sprains, strains, especially like if I have issues with like an ankle sprain or something like this. I put this on there and it is amazing. It's, it's magic. It's so, so good. The first time I was ever introduced to this was by my Taekwondo instructor when I was in middle school, elementary school, middle school time frame, and um, he put this on my sprained wrist and rewrapped it and it made such a huge difference and I was able to go through classes without my wrist giving me too much pain. I was punching with my other hand, but this stuff worked so so well and it definitely just it helps like i love it it's so much better like if you typically use icy hot or something like that which i can't use icy hot because i have a skin reaction to it then try this because it's amazing i love it we go through like probably three to four of those a year between my husband's job and just my muscle tension and all that this is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. I have two more of these. I actually bought a set of three of these around Christmas. I really do like these. I find that they leave a bit of a film on your skin, though, so I tend to only use these when... A, I'm feeling lazy and don't want to like grab another moisturizer, so I'll just throw this on real quick. Or I've actually liked using these as dewy setting sprays lately. I found that these work really well. They give my skin a really pretty glow. I didn't use it today. I have some different things on today. When I do like a really matte makeup look and it's a little too matte and I need something to just glow it up a bit, then I will spray this on pretty heavily and then just fan my face and it will dry down and add a glow to my skin. So I really do like these and I haven't noticed any breakouts or anything like that. So um, I might repurchase these. There's some other facial sprays I want to try out though. And I do want to still repurchase the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist because that's still my favorite like skincare hydrating spray that I've tried so far. I went through another Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is one of my very favorite setting sprays when I'm doing more of a matte or satin finish look. It works so well. This stuff makes your makeup just glue on your face. It is fantastic. I'm a huge fan of this. I need to buy another full size of this. I do have a list of more glowy setting sprays from you guys that I want to try, but I just haven't had the time to pick any up or I haven't been able to find them. Like some of these are hard to find. But anyway, for more of a matte look, this is definitely one of my favorites. Oh, has anyone tried the new um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, duty set? Is it any good? Do you like it? What do you think? Because I've been considering picking that one up for summer. All right, guys, I have three more products left. 
And these are all like really good favorites. Like I love these. First up is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Eyeliner in black. This is a felt tip and it's probably the only felt tip liner I've ever actually really, really loved because this felt tip is super thin and easy to work with. I really do like this. I do like the formula. I still prefer brush tip eyeliners, I will say that, but I do like this. But I did find out that it dries out really fast. That's one thing I've noticed with felt tips. They do tend to dry out faster than brush tips, at least in my opinion. But um, I definitely would recommend this if you like felt tip liner. I love the packaging. It's very comfortable. It's easy to use. It looks really freaking pretty. And um, it just works beautifully as an eyeliner. So I'm a big fan of that. Oh, I have four things. Okay, technically this isn't an empty yet, but I'm currently using it. This is the Blender Cleanser Solid Pro. I'm a big fan of this. I didn't think I would be. I really love it. I've used it like four or five times now to clean my brushes. It's amazing. I love it. So who knew? I didn't think the little black hockey puck would clean like I figured it would clean well but I didn't think I would like it that much I actually really really like it figures then I have the belief the true cream moisturizing balm you guys have seen me go through several samples of this this stuff is amazing this is a really 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 good moisturizer I haven't purchased this yet just because I need to go to Sephora or order online to buy this. And I do have some other creams that I'm currently using, but this is definitely on my list of go-to moisturizers to buy. And the very last thing for my empties today, you can see we're all empty. This is the Nuni Apple Butter Lip Mask. You guys have seen this in multiple, multiple favorites because this is probably the best lip balm I have ever tried. This stuff is so, so good. You can wear it thin during the day. You can really put it on thick at night. It's super moisturizing for your lips. I love it. It's not sticky. It's just so good, and it really helps with dry, chapped lips, dehydrated lips, especially during the winter, or if you're like me and you talk a lot and you wear a lot of matte lipsticks and your lips just do not get happy, this stuff works so well for that. Um, you can buy this online. You can also get this at Ulta. Most Ultas carry um, the Nuni products as well. So I probably had this for like six to eight months. It took me that long to get through it using it multiple, multiple times a day. So this is definitely another one of those products that I love and would highly recommend. So I hope that you guys liked today's empties video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel by making sure that YouTube recommends these videos to more people, which would be absolutely amazing. If you like my channel in general, go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed so that my videos pop up in your subscription feed when I put out new ones. And you guys can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Book. I'm pretty much everywhere and all the links for those are down below and if you want to down in the comments go ahead and say hi I love hearing from you guys thank you all so so much for watching and I will see you again very very soon bye